Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this. It's a child's learning fractional puzzle. And by the word puzzle, I think it's being cut out where the kids can put it back in order. So, and this is a just 10 inch ruler. So we're going to take a rectangle with our ratio unlocked and we're going to make it 10 inches long. And we're just going to make the pieces one inch wide. So I'm going to hit P, doesn't really have to be there, but I like drawing in the center of the page. And we need eight of them. So we're going to set our nudge factor to one inch and we're going to control D three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it looks like a ruler on top, even though it's just 10 inches. We're going to take another line, holding down the control button, and we need to make it shorter, but I'm going to go ahead and make it something to engrave. So I'm going to do the tool. I'm going to put it at one point and put it at black. And you could vary the size and uh, length. We're going to change the length right now. We're just going to make it a little shorter. Let's make it, we can go right here and make it 0.75. That way it won't go to the top. And then with this four sided um, cross, I always call it. We're just, we've still got our nudge factor set on one inch. So we're going to control D and just make 10 of them across the page. That's going to be our inch markers. Now that we need to make a quarter inch marker and what we could probably the easiest way to do this would be now to take our lines and nudge them up out of the way because we're going to make the quarter inch lines and we want them um, we could actually take a duplicate of this line, control D and put it in that spot. And then we're going to shorten it to like 0.3. Just make a little bitty line for the quarter inch lines. Now we're going to take that four sided cross again, and we're going to change our nudge factor to 0.25. And we're not going to make a duplicate the first time. We're just going to move it over. Now I'm going to control D a quarter of an inch each time. Sometimes my old laptop does that or I put my hand on, whoop, put my hand on something. So we don't have a duplicate of that. And we're just going to go quarter inch all the way across. And the reason I put those nudge those lines out of, and you could do step and repeat, and we're probably going to do that on some of the ones later. Uh, it would be a lot easier. So now we can nudge these, well, let's go back to our one inch nudge factor. And let's nudge this down just so we can kind of eyeball it. And it wouldn't have, it wouldn't kill you to have two lines on top of each other, but we're just going to delete these lines where the inch marker goes. And then we can move these down. And it probably wouldn't hurt to have one on the end. I, did, I failed to put one on the very end. Control D and we still got it set on one inch. So there's actually a one there. So we're gonna take the one and we're gonna go the numeral one make it a little bit bigger and we're going to hit P put it. Sometimes you got to click off the, the number before you can hit P and because we started in the center of the page and the one doesn't look like it's in the center of the page because of the fact that the one is offset with the, you know, the Corel's doing it because of the, the size. So you could put that one wherever you wanted in the, in the, in the figure. So the next one's a half inch. So it's even, it's getting easier by the minute. So let's just look at that picture. And it's actually going to be a cut line that's going to go all the way through. So here, what I'm going to do is take, take our very top one and I'm going to select it all and I'm going to control G to group it together. I'm going to nudge it up out of the way. Now we're going to take a one inch cut line and just make it one inch. And we're going to take our 
two point or four point four point cross. Come on. And put it right there. And we could change the nudge to five inches and just nudge that nudge that line over. So that's the half. And then the half, you know, needs to be in the in the center of the half. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna make the half a little bit smaller. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's just one. And then uh, hit the enter key. Let me zoom in here. And then we're gonna get our text tool back and then hit enter and uh, capitalize. Don't worry about that right now and hit enter. I might've hit twice. Now what you can do is control uh, K to break them apart. And then just, and you might want to do this on the one anyway, then hold down the control button. And then let's group this together, control G. And there are several ways to do that. And then we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. And this is how I would do it. I would take the smart fill tool, fill that in. Let's change our nudge factor to one. Fill that in. Let's get our half out of the way for a second. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a box and then left click, no fill, or left click, no fill, and put an outline around it. And then this is a good box. Now, what we can do now is just take our number and it's gonna to snap to the center. Control D, and of course we could move it over five inches, but it'll snap to the center. So there's those two pieces. And really and truly, you could you don't even need this box anymore. So we're going to control G and group that together, and we'll nudge that up to that one. Now the other they don't have any lines on them; they're just cut lines. So you just need to do the same thing for every one of them. Um, take that same line. Matter of fact, let's nudge these out of the way. Take that same line, and and what we could do on this is change your nudge factor to five and nudge it over five inches. Now, the only difference is this is, this is a quarter and a, a quarter of an inch or a quarter of 10 inches is 0.25 or 0.2, uh, 2.5 inches. And just take that and control well, we don't even make it. We don't need to meet, don't need to make a duplicate. Let's just nudge it over, and there you have your quarters. Same thing. I would do the same thing with the block. Now the the only ones that are going to be a little bit different is like the third, and possibly the well the fifth will be two inches, but the third, the third, you can't really divide it. You know, if you take out a calculator and go ten divided by three is 3.6666. So what you can do, and, you, and you, that's gonna be close enough, but what you could do, and I like doing this type this type stuff, just take that one line, of course I grouped it together. No, I didn't. Control D and make a duplicate using our four point cross. Now what we can do is control D, make a duplicate, put this over here, and for just a second, we're gonna nudge our box out of the way. Now we just have these two lines. We're gonna grab that one, and grab that one with the, with the shift tool uh, down, go to effects, and blend, and I think we're working on the one third, so we only need, we've got the outer two, so we need three of them, hit apply. Now that'd be a quarter. Two of them and be apply. And then it's divided into threes. Now what I would do is just take this, take this one away. It's a blend. 
So you've got to go to object and break blend apart and then actually go to object and ungroup it. And then just take this one away because we don't need that extra cut line. Hit delete and just change our nudge factor to one inch again and literally move this box up. And there you have the third. And it's exactly, you know, let's just measure it just for grins. It'll be, you know, that 3.3 something. You know, it's 3.3, you know, round it off. That's about as close as you can get it. You would have had to type all that in. And I guarantee if we go, look at that. So it's exactly, exactly right in one third of an inch. So just real quick, let's say we have them all done. And I'm just going to show you how I would do it. Nudge all these back. So you've got a piece of wood and you've cut all these out. They're ready to go. What you could do is, let's try this. Let's control G and group it together. Holding down the shift key, double click your rectangle tool. And now you have a rectangle the size of your puzzle. That's gonna be the inner side. Let's nudge these out or just move them out of the way for a minute. Let's put this in the center of the page and then just make your border a little bit bigger than what we can do is control D and then hold down the shift key and it'll grow from all corners equally. Cut one of them this size, cut the inside and outside, and then just cut one with the out with the outside and then glue. Well, let me let me save that. Let me control D and make a duplicate of this. So take away the inside. So this is your one piece of wood. And let's make that wood yellow. And let's make this frame uh, brown. And then let's nudge it back or hit P, put it in the center of the page. So that's what your puzzle is going to look like. So the, and if you use the same thickness of wood as your puzzle parts, it'll just fall in there and be flat. So let's real quickly just make all this gray and let's hit P, put it in the center of the page and you can't see it, go to order, put it in front of page. And then that's what your puzzle is going to look like. I'm, I'm missing the number. I didn't get it in there, but that's what your puzzle is going to, and just glue these two pieces together, you know, make sure they're uh, equal on the corner so that all the pieces fit in there. And the laser kerf is going to make sure it's going to fit anyway, because it's going to be, a, you don't want them extremely tight so they can fall out so the kids can put them in. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.